slightly lower, but it'll still be plenty warm out there. All right, if you missed it, maybe you didn't check social media all weekend or turn on the news. We actually had Bonnie and call inform, and so we checked off two names. Call informed late. I think it was like Saturday morning. They named it at 4 a.m. It was off the coast of the Carolinas. Quick little system spun up and had tropical characteristics, so it's got to get a name. So we did check off two names there in one day or in about 12 hours or so. The next name is Danielle. The good news is there's nothing out there right now that looks like it's going to be Danielle. Uh, and the tropics look like they're going to stay fairly quiet. There is a tropical wave right in there. You can see some showers and storms, but a ton of wind shear, a ton of dry air in that area, so it's not expected to do anything. By the way, Bonnie is still going. Bonnie has crossed the basin in the Pacific. That has not happened since 2016 with Otto, and so it is quite rare for us to get a system to cross over from the Atlantic Basin to the Pacific Basin or vice versa, and it keep its name. Usually it'll lose its circulation and it'll get a whole different name. So this was the track of Bonnie. It moved over there. It became Bonnie there. It made landfall right near Nicaragua and Costa Rica, the border, and it just went in the perfect spot to continue to keep its name. It missed the mountains here in Costa Rica, went over the lower portion of uh, Nicaragua there, and then went out in the Pacific. Never lost its circulation, and that's why it is still Bonnie. It actually has strengthened into a hurricane. So interesting stuff there, and it looks like it could continue to get a little stronger, but it's not going to be an issue for anyone sitting off the coast of Mexico. Here is our seven day forecast. We are staying just uh, with spotty storms or numerous storms over the next couple of days. These will be pop up ones mainly in the afternoon with heavy rain being the main thing, but we'll watch for a few of these to produce some gusty winds and lots of lightning by Tuesday and Wednesday. Same story, but then rain chances looking a little lower as we go into Thursday and Friday.